With the recent news on kids age 5 to 11 now able to receive the COVID-19 vaccine, we want to clear up any confusion or questions about inoculation. Joining us this morning to discuss the recent news is Dr. Darian Sutton. Dr. Sutton, good morning. Good morning. So we know a lot of parents are ready to get their child inoculated, but there is still a lot of hesitancy. I've spoken with parents who are just not comfortable vaccinating their kids just yet, some citing emergency use authorization. So what would you say to them right now? Uh, well, it's first off, it's a common question that I get from parents, many of whom have vaccinated themselves, but are questioning what are the benefits of vaccinating their children. And I like to just step back and number one, ask what is the main concern so that I can address that. But really what it comes down to is just a numbers game. If you look at the rates of COVID-19, specifically in this age group of children age 5 to 11, since the onset of this pandemic, there has been approximately 1.8 million cases, and that has been associated to more than 8,000 hospitalizations and more than 2,000 cases of this rare condition called multi-system inflammatory syndrome and comparing that to the rare outcomes of COVID-19 vaccines or the rare adverse risk of COVID-19 vaccines and you compare that to the clear benefit and the efficacy in protecting against the uh, viral illness of COVID-19 it shows clear time and time again that when it comes down to simple numbers uh, choosing the vaccination is the safest route to go. And for parents who will vaccinate their kids, how should they coach their kids prior to getting the shot? Because obviously there can be a lot of anxiety and kids can be a little nervous. What would your advice be for those parents? I think really just setting the standards of what's going to happen that day. Children like a lot of information. As we all know, they ask a lot of questions, helping them to understand the steps in terms of what's going to happen before and after the shot are really important and reminding them that it's probably going to be very similar to their previous vaccinations that they've had before. And the symptoms that we've seen after the vaccination in this children or in this age group are the same as what we've seen in adults, which is that arm soreness. Uh, sometimes you can get a temporary fever uh, and sometimes you can feel a little bit more fatigued. Now, the vaccine mandate has been heavily politicized, but let's look at the science. How does a mandate influence a pandemic? Well, you know, mandates are really important to protect the public against illnesses such as COVID-19, and we've had them in place to protect the public against other viral and bacterial infectious diseases since the beginning of time. And so when we look at those states who have high vaccination rates, we have lower transmission, we have less rates of COVID-19 presentations to the emergency room, and overall less hospitalizations and deaths. And what I try to remind everyone is that the point of a mandate is not really to force you to get vaccinated, it's really just to force you to make a decision. Because what we know is that COVID-19 vaccines are preventing COVID-19, not just in disease, but again, in hospitalizations and deaths. And so it's important to understand that if you choose not to get vaccinated, you have a higher risk of getting COVID-19 and transmitting it, and therefore your access to public spaces and workplaces changes. So it's really important to understand that that's the guideline and the goal of these vaccine mandates to get us into that new normal. And one final question here, doctor. Uh, you know, some kids are obviously larger at 10 and 11 years old. I know I was a bigger kid. Uh, in terms of the dosage size for vaccines, should they be getting a larger dosage or should they be getting the one prescribed for children? That's a great question. Kids come in all shapes and sizes, as we all know, and it's one of the most common questions. Although there are many medications that I use clinically that are weight or weight dose dependent, the vaccines are not. They're dependent on the maturity of the immune system. So regardless of your child's age, uh, depending on their, excuse me, regardless of your child's weight, their age is what predicts what type of vaccine they get. Well, Dr. Sutton, we truly appreciate you taking some time this morning to chat with us and thank you for joining us. Thank you. Child vaccine doses likely won't be ready until next week for here in western Wisconsin.